world today. Uh, before we get into this week's video, I just wanted to say I know non-essential shops in the UK are opening soon and you know lockdown is ending, um, which should be exciting and I am excited a little bit because I do want everything to go back to normal obviously, but at the same time I feel like for me there is a lot of anxiety surrounding this, um, so I just wanted to address this very quickly. It's okay to be anxious, um, to get back to, you know, reality again. We have been locked inside our houses for months, so it's definitely going to be hard at first to get back into the idea of being surrounded by so many people, especially if you are going back to work like me. You may feel like you've forgotten everything, uh, but humans have a great way of adapting to new situations as demonstrated by this entire pandemic. So. I'm sure everything will be okay again soon. Um, so yeah, don't stress over it too much because everything will be back to normal soon enough. So anyways, today's video is going to be just a little shop update. I will be showing you how I make some pins and then also amiibo cards. Yes, I learned how to make those, but more on that later on. So here you can just see me designing the backing card for my chicken and teacup pins, which I have already made. Um, all of the things featured in this video are now already live on my shop as you're watching this. So the pins will be £10 for A grade and then £4 for B grade, meaning if they have any visible faults such as bubbles, um, resin drips on the back or just like little mistakes I'm not fully satisfied with, those are going to be B grade, so seconds. Although uh, all of my pins are handmade, so they will all have like slight little imperfections, basically just a handmade look to them. Um, but anything that I'm not happy with to sell for full price will be going at seconds. And I am a perfectionist, so you can trust me, these are good quality pins. I always try to make everything to the best of my ability, so I'm actually really proud of producing all of these pins. Um, and obviously there is a limited number of these since they are handmade, so each pin is unique and I kind of love that, but it does mean I will need to make more when they run out. Um, so if you are interested, the link to my Etsy store is in the description as always. Um, but yeah, no pressure, <laughs> you don't need to buy anything from me. I am overwhelmed by the fact you're already watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. In the near future, I plan on adding more things to my store because I plan on making this my main source of income one day. So I want to keep on expanding it and I would really love to start making things such as clay earrings, um, resin shaker keyring charms, as well as bookmarks and stickers and yeah, there's just so many things. So please let me know in the comments, what would you like to see first? So I know what I should get started on.
I got some new resin. This is the UV resin I'm gonna be trying out. I already tried a different brand out, but I wanna just, you know, see which one will be the best one. Oh, look how big this is. This is all of the inks. Wait, let me just open it. I'm curious how it's packaged. Oh, wow, that's such a waste. <laughs> It's all packaged individually. This was expensive. Ink is so expensive for my printer. It's almost a hundred pounds to refill all of them. So I, I'm glad I got this and now I'm okay for a couple of months again. And now for the biggest thing I got from Amazon, it's actually this recyclable bubble wrap, which I will be packaging all my pins in, but it's so huge. It's so much bigger than I expected it to be. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna put it. I, but that's all I got, cause I'm broke. I only buy the essential things I need for my business at the moment. <laughs> Voice over time, so moving on to how I actually make my amiibos. Um, so it's super simple, there are loads of tutorials online already, so I will just link the ones I looked at in the description. But basically, you download Tagmo and some files onto your phone, and then all you need to do is pick your character and select write tag. Then you place your phone on the empty card and it downloads it onto the cards for you. Your phone does need to be NFC enabled though, so make sure if you're gonna do this that your phone is. I just did a simple Google and hope for the best, but it comes out mine is fine, so that's good. I always like to write the name of the characters on the card, and then at the back I started writing tap me exactly on the space the chip is. Um, so basically, if you tap it in the wrong part of the card where the chip is in, um, it will just either say, oh, I can't read the amiibo, or it will say, this is not an amiibo. Um, which is not true, it is, it works, you just need to tap it in the right place. So the first, I think like three orders I sent out, I didn't write to tap me, I've, I haven't had any concerns by the way, uh, but I just thought it would be a lot easier um, to let people know exactly where it is, so it saves them time figuring it out. Now I don't think I will be selling these on my store for long, I just know that with Sanrio being released into New Horizons, it's been so hard to get them, even before then it was hard to get those cards and now it's like impossible. So what I'm doing is I'm just keeping the amiibos blank to keep the prices down and then the Sanrio amiibo pack I sell costs £12 so it equals out for £2 per amiibo which I think is quite cheap. Um, and that's the main reason I started making them because I couldn't get hold of them myself for cheap. If you're interested, grab them while they last I guess. Um, if you're watching this video months later and they aren't there anymore, I'm really sorry, but don't worry, I'm sure there are plenty of other options on Etsy or maybe even better, you know, maybe Nintendo finally decided to restock. It's so silly, I think it's so silly to release a new feature into such a popular game and to not have any way for the people to actually purchase it, you know? <laughs> but anyways, that was it for my brand, that was it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Let's finish it off with packing a couple of orders. See you in whatever I make next. Bye.